Hey, Denise Johnson here. I'm going to do a floral, and this is on photo paper. I'm gonna use a stencil, I think, and inks diluted in alcohol in a squirt bottle. very random and do it quick. Don't give it too much thought. Don't let your brain get in the way. And this is just clear or just alcohol I should say, no ink in it. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, and that's the way I like it. And as always, make sure that you uh, play in a well-ventilated area. Let's see, I want it like this. Especially if you have respiratory issues. Issues. Open a window, a door, put a fan on, wear a respirator. A mask is not effective. You can see I'm just doing circles here. Maybe there'll be roses. I'm not squeezing. This is a water pen filled with alcohol. I'm not squeezing this at all. I'm just moving around <clears throat> what's already there. It's quite a bit of alcohol here. It's pretty juicy. I could use the hair dryer, but I just don't like that noise, especially on a video. It's just like, ah. Okay, let's give it a, this is called watermelon. It's a light pink. That's pretty. Maybe a little turquoise in there in the vase. They won't hold their shapes, but it's interesting what they leave behind, that's for sure. And we can go back over it when it's almost dry or dry and add stones. More of them. And I like these black dots that are happening there. Play like a five-year-old. What would a five-year-old do with this? Well, they probably shoot a whole bunch more ink on it. <laughs> That's been my experience uh, painting with my grandson when he was five. Oh man, he's 11 years old already. He painted with me since he was three. Oh, this is getting to be nice. I'm liking the hard lines that are coming through here. Interesting shapes. Using your breath is a cool thing to do, I think. Just... 
feels like more of yourself is in the painting. You put more of more of you. Like that little pop over there of whatever that's going to be. Of course, that may not be the way it ends up. Maybe I'll do a little, take some color off the palette. This is my palette. I never clean it. I just keep adding more ink to it. It goes red, orange, yellow, <laughs> yellow, green. I don't know. And then you just put some alcohol in here and to reactivate it. Just get a little bit shot of some color there. That's nice. Don't want to overdo it. I have a tendency to overdo it once I start adding color. Not that it's a bad thing. But it's something I'm aware of. You can just take it over the edge. <laughs> I'm itching to do it down here somewhere, though. I think I'll blend it into here. This could be like a fallen bud or petal or... No, oh, it doesn't look like that, actually. Let's do this. Um going to blot it lightly. Be afraid to use your fingers. Vase, give it shape back a little bit here. And it's a um, tendency to, to keep going back over lines because you don't see anything happening right away, but um, there is definitely something happening, even with just one pass through. So uh, remember that there's always like alcohol going down <clears throat> if you're using this type of pen or watercolor pen. And it's easy to overdo that. Oh, look at that. It moved. Okay, well, let's work with that. Let's get it back in a circle. Oh, there we go. That looks nice. Should share that color, huh? So I'm dipping in just a little. That's nice. Let's get some circles here. Some heart shapes in there in honor of Valentine's Day coming up soon. This is still bugging me. I don't care for this shape here. And this is a technique I like to do on my vases. It's just a thin layer, thin row there, thin line, I should say, of alcohol. And then you let it run. And it looks like a reflection, or like you're seeing through the vase. It looks watery, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's nice, yeah. So that's that's the look I was going for. I'm going to do a little bit on the other side. And what I have here is a broken off needle, actually, needle tip. And this is like a really fine one. It was real long and skinny. So 
and then it broke. But I actually like it better broke because it was always bending. Turn it in there. there. Just, just like that. A swirly there at the bottom. Maybe a squirt. That looks real interesting, I think. I just love how fast alcohol inks dry. I feel like they can keep up with me. <laughs> it's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. that I don't clean my brush off very much. I just use what's already on there. Usually, not always. I feel like when I wipe it off, it's almost wasting the inks. Ugh. Pull some of that out, make it a little lighter. Oh, I'm tempted, there we go, it's more swirly. Color around. Not a big fan of this right here. So can do. This needs to be playing a little bit better just to blend in a bit more. Okay. I think that's good. I like it. This is black ink on a felt pad. I like to do this with my pictures, my paintings. It's like a full frame. Just put a little bit of that on there. This is black ink. I buy it in big bottles and use these needle nose bottles to use it. I like it. And I'm going to call it done. Thanks for watching. Denise Johnson signing off from Outer Space.